Hey y'all, happy Sunday and welcome back to another week in our lives. My name is Ivy and I am super excited to have you along with us for another week in our lives. Normally I open these on Saturday, but we had a super chill day yesterday because we have just been go, go, go for the last couple of weeks and I needed to do some laundry and get caught up on a little bit of that and just do some resting. So today though, we got up bright and early and left to go to Caleb's church, Caleb's family church, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away. So we went up there, went to church with them this morning, and then they had a graduation party for him after church. And so that was a lot of fun. They fed us some awesome lunch um, and just spent the afternoon celebrating Caleb and his graduation. And it was so lovely. Uh, and now we are home. It is raining. And I'm going to be real honest. We are just super exhausted. It's about three o'clock. And like I said, we just got home this rain's making me sleepy. I'm going to go lay down and take a nap. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to open this vlog right here right now because I know I have a very busy week ahead of me. I didn't want too much more of it to get away from me before I said hey to y'all today and um, just get this vlog going, get this week started. So come along with us this week, see what all we can get into. Hey y'all, happy Monday. I am wearing clothes. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, it looks like I'm not. Um, I did somewhat just get out of the shower. I just finished fixing my nails, although I thought this was more of a red and it's a very, it looks very orange, but it's actually very pink. Anyhow, um, totally meant to vlog today at school because we have two and a half days as of today. Actually, tomorrow is one and a half day. So get through tomorrow and half a day Wednesday and we were done with school. <sighs> But I just, I haven't actually felt the greatest since yesterday afternoon. My stomach's just been hurting. Riley said her stomach was hurting. I think we're just wore out. I think that's just what it is. Um, but thankfully it's slowing down. We actually didn't have to go anywhere tonight. Um, ball games are over with. Um, and yeah, anyway, I was going to film at school today. Try to get some like you know, obscure shots because, um, we just had a really fun day. I took, um, all of Aiden's Legos. I took our marble maze. I took operation. I took, um, perfection. Um, I can't remember. Oh, and then I got the Play-Doh out of my classroom and we just had a fun day, like a game day, a fun day, no Chromebooks. Well, I end up letting them have 30 minutes of Chromebook time. Um, but they kept saying, oh, we did puzzles too. That was really fun. Anyway, they kept saying, can we get on our Chromebooks now? I'm like, no, I'm like we need some no Chromebook time. We need some screen free time. And it was just a really fun day. But because it's the end, the last, you know, day of school, last few days of school, we're just not doing anything. Tomorrow um, is an award ceremony. And that's actually what I'm fixing to show you is the awards. Because once I hand them out tomorrow, I won't be able to show you. Um, and then... We're going to have just more free time tomorrow. We actually have two assemblies tomorrow. I'm going to do these awards in the classroom. And then I'm going to do a popcorn bar um, towards the end of the day before we go to our second assembly. Um, and so I just got some microwave popcorn. And then I got like, um, what did I get? M&M's and chocolate chips, pretzels, gummy bears, and Skittles. So kind of a weird mix but like just some candy and popcorn everybody will get a little bit and it'll just be a fun thing to add to tomorrow because I thought about getting like all of them candy but I'm like I don't really want to do that either and have to spend even more money doing all the candy bags than I did just getting the stuff for the popcorn bar so that's what we're doing tomorrow um, and then I'm going to give them these awards and I think I can kind of show you with covering the names Okay, so this is one of the awards. So we've got the Mickey Award. And then I guess I can kind of like do this. You kind of got the gist of what it looked like. Um, Mickey, Belle, Maximus. Um, so every kid got an award. I want to read these all to you, but um, they're kind of long. But anyway, just so you can kind of get the gist. Um, the Mickey Award is given to you the blank student for being an all-around awesome student you're a pal to all you work hard in all you do and you keep us smiling uh, thank you for making my year great and then the next one the bell award for not only being an avid reader but also for your loyalty to your friends and classmates you are thoughtful and include others in your conversations and playtime and so anyway 
I just thought of what kid would match with what Disney character. And um, then I just put a little something, something nice about each of the kids um, in their thing. So anyway, I've got all the characters. I wish I could just read them to you all, but y'all don't want to sit through that probably. Um, anyway, they're really cute and I am very proud of them. That's to say the least. I'm just proud of them. I worked pretty hard on getting them all made up and I just went to Walmart and paid 13, 14 cents each for them. So it was only like three bucks or something like that. I can't remember because I didn't, oh yeah, three dollars and 22 cents. I paid online and I didn't realize I even paid online. So, um, that's pretty cheap for a little award, you know. And then I got them all in an erasable ink pen. It's an off-brand, but they all love my friction pens. They always want to borrow them. But if you use friction pens, you know they run out of ink really quickly, and they're really expensive. So I got these off-brand ones, and I'm just going to give them all their award and a friction pen, and then we'll do the popcorn bar after it's done. So um, they also asked if we could do show and tell tomorrow. So I don't think very many kids are going to bring stuff for show and tell. So if they do, then we'll do that. And then if they don't, then oh well. And that's it. So if I don't get to talk to you all for the next two days, I will try my hardest to film some clips. Um, it's hard because, you know, I can't get any kids um, faces or voices or anything in there. Um, but. Anyway, I, I will try to film some clips, and if I don't get them filmed, I'm sorry. And if I do, then yay. And if I don't, you know what we did, because I just filled you all in on all the fun stuff. And that's probably... Oh no, tomorrow night is Athletic Banquet, so we'll go to that, and I'll have some footage of that. But otherwise, I don't even know. I'm so exhausted. I feel bad. I have not even edited last week's vlog yet. It's already Monday, so I don't know when that's going to go out. I don't know when I'm going to get groceries. And then at some point, probably Thursday, we have to come back. I don't even know what we're doing when we come back. They're not serving breakfast or lunch for teachers. So I don't know how long they're going to make us stay on Thursday, but it's like teacher checkout day. Anyhow, so I have to come in Thursday. But if they don't have something specific that we're supposed to do, I'm going to get as much of my old room moved to my new room as possible. Um... So I will definitely film one last look around my old room. It's kind of sad. I went in there today to get the Play-Doh and, and look for something else. And I was like, oh gosh, it's bittersweet for sure. Like I love my tiny little room. It's been a cozy little place for two and a half, three years. And now I'm moving to a bigger room. And yeah, I don't know. I have to think through how to set my room up. I, My brain can't process it. My friend that um, I went to school with, but we, now we teach together. She asked if I was getting my room set up and I'm like, I can't even think about it now. Like I keep, I've told you guys in the past, like, I'm not going to get my hopes up till it's official. It's been in the board meeting notes is now official. Um, I have my contract. I literally signed it today and turned it back in. Um, so it is a hundred percent official, but I'm still not there yet because I have, it, there's, it's so much to think about for current what I'm dealing with with these kids. Okay. Anyway, I am looking a wreck. You guys are probably done looking at me. It is fixing to storm like crazy too. So I hope once I get to bed, I can actually fall asleep, but it's late. It's like 1130, 1136. So I'm going to head to bed and I will probably maybe see y'all tomorrow. Definitely within the next couple of days. <laughs> Uh, a little bit. No. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Uh just got down to the lake with Scotty. <laughs> trying to get out. I yeah, I know. He's got his sweatpants on. Uh anyway, I just got home from school and I was going to go lay down because it's not been the greatest day of my life. I'll tell you all about it later. Um, but he's like, you want to go check out the lake? And I was like, yeah, why? And he's like, it's flooded bad. So I figured I would show you guys what it looks like when it's flooded. And he said it's actually gone down quite a bit. So here's the lake when it's flooded. I don't think I've gotten to show you all this. All right. If you've been around a while, you know that that is not normally how high the water is on the uh, dock right there. 
and the pipes that I watch the sconge go through in the summer times are completely underwater there. That's the concrete block. All the way up, and Scotty said it was actually over the dock um, earlier this morning. Skim past him. And then this all down here is flooded and rushing over where it should not be going, which is causing issues over here. So we really are planning on putting a spillway back there so that the water can escape there. Is it running over the spillway here? Back there? Yeah. Oh, we'll go check out over there. I'm sure it is as much as it's rushing in down here. So anyway, yeah, we got floodage all the way down there. And you can see the creek way back there. It's flowing real good. This is flowing a whole lot more this morning. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you step on it, it like sloshes water underneath. It feels like anyway. Did the boys fish this morning? Out. Spot? Oh, yes, I did. Oh. Yes, I did. I was like, is that not what you told me? That's what I was doing. I didn't know if you. Of them that are 
I mean, honestly, they're leaders. They're the more popular kids, and so they they get to talking, and they think they don't have to follow the rules, so the others follow them, and so anyway, it's it's frustrating. And so it's been since I've been in there kind of thing that, that I've had to deal with that. And so anyway, we just let it go. It's been fine. I've dealt with it for the most part. You know, we finally got in a groove, and it's been okay. Um, I still have lots of moments where I have to just stand there in silence and just wait for them to be quiet because there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> so yesterday, though, I planned these awards. I kind of talked to y'all about them a few weeks ago and took all this time to, like, create them in Canva and, you know, I just made the little award and, oh, I think I showed you them earlier this week. And I took time to think about what Disney character they reminded me of and wrote like a personalized little message for each kid and like tied it to them and everything. And so th I, that was their award for the year. Plus I use friction erasable pens. So I got them all like generic ones, but they were way cheaper and I only had to buy one pack <laughs> instead of three. I think it would have been if I had bought the friction. So anyway, I saved like 40 bucks doing the generic pens. And then I did a popcorn bar. So like popcorn base and then like just all kinds of candies to put as toppings, you know. Instead of doing ice cream, we did popcorn. We got the sweet and the salty. Anyway, so all day they were asking me what the popcorn was for. I'm like, I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. And they just like would not give in, you know, like they were just all day long. I never gave in, I never told them what it was for. And so then it was awards time. And so I get up and I say, so I have an award for all of you. Um, I, I, y'all know I love Disney. And so I just really tried to think of like what Disney character you guys matched with. And so I just wrote each of you a personal little letter and I'm just really grateful for getting you guys as my first class and just like all this little speech, you know, and then told them, you know, so you're going to get your certificate and you get to come choose your ink pen and um, then we're going to have a popcorn bar and they were all excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I start reading off the certificates and they were like straight up making fun of it right in front of me to their friends out loud and like just being so loud and talking and interrupting while I was trying to like have each student come up to me and present their award and I just kept having to stop and say guys you're being so disrespectful you're being so rude like and by the end of it I was in tears like I was so sad because I don't know how many times I had to stop and so I just with tears in my eyes I was like y'all have seriously broken my heart like I get that not everyone loves Disney like that's fine and the main thing they were doing was making fun of like what Disney character each person got or whatever and I was like it's not even about that it's you didn't even listen to what to what was being said about the person it's about their character you know like this person's a friend to all and cares for others and you know like oh, it was just so heartbreaking that they were being so disrespectful and rude and so I said not all of you are but the ones that are making fun of it like you're not only making fun of me and making me feel bad but you're making fun of your classmates and friends that are grateful and thankful for this and appreciate it and I was like that's just not cool you know and so I said it makes me really not even want to do this popcorn bar for you um and I'm like that y'all just really broke my heart and hurt my feelings <laughs> and again I tried to reiterate like not all of you but the ones of you that were being so rude and one boy oh man I he was the worst of all and while I was saying that, he did this to like other kids. And I said, no, sir. I said, you have been the worst. I said, you have literally made, you said, oh, I'm glad I'm not Mickey Mouse to my face. And I said, you made fun of it the entire time. You don't get to say shame, shame to everyone else. And like all the class was like, ooh, which that in itself is just so frustrating. <laughs> 
Anyway, gosh, sorry, fourth grader rant. I didn't, I didn't expect that. To, I don't know how I expected it to go. That's why I told another teacher. I said, I don't know how I expected it to go, but that definitely wasn't it. And she's like, it'll be different next year. She's like, when you start the year with the students, like you'll be able to like form the relationship with them and they'll, you know, and I know that I've already told myself that from the get go when I've had such a hard time with this class. I'm like, at the beginning of the year, I will be able to lay out my expectations for classroom behavior and like, don't talk when the teacher's talking, like all the expectations that I hope to have, you know? Anyway, it's been a little bit of a struggle. It's been fun and it's been amazing and I have learned so much from my time doing sub, but it's also been hard and I've learned a lot in that realm just about how kids can be and stuff. So um, it's been good. It's, it's been so good. I've loved every second of it, even the hard times, even yesterday, whenever it was hard, maybe I didn't love it in the moment, but again, it taught me so much. I did do the popcorn bar for the record. I just said, I just think you need to sit here in silence while I get this all ready. Um, and you just need to think about how you've been acting. And I had one student say, thank you, Miss Ivy for the certificates. And one student say, I'm sorry, Miss Ivy for our behavior. Neither one of those students were the issue. None of the ones that had the issue said they were sorry or thanked me. So, it's frustrating. It's sad the way this world is going, you know. Anyway, so they did get their popcorn bar. It ended up being fine. We watched our movie. We continued with the rest of our day. We had our assembly at the end of the day. And we went home and now I've ranted about it this morning and it's over and I'm coming into today with a fresh start and a fresh attitude <laughs> and not that I had attitude yesterday but like I was my feelings were hurt so now I'm like I'm not gonna carry and even one of the kids that was like being a little stinker like during the movie me and some of the other kids were putting a puzzle together and he came over and he's like can I put the puzzle together with you and I'm like sure and I put my hand around him you know it's like I don't want to hold grudges against these kids you know like I don't want them to think that I'm just gonna be mad at them now because they disrespected me. No, I, that's not the way I need to act because that's not what they need to see and learn from and grow from, that we move past things, you know, type of thing. Forgive and forget and move on. So that's what today's gonna be. And I'm almost at the school, so um, gracious, sorry, 10 minutes worth of fourth grade rant. Um, I love them so much, I really do. I can't wait to see them today. I am gonna cry when they leave. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Um, thanks for listening. I'm pulling in. I'll see you guys later at 1243 after 1243. When is, when that's our last day of school time? <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know. Okay. I will see y'all later. All right, y'all. This is the state of the classroom after two hours of free time this morning. Um, that's literally all we did. I actually, we came in here and I kind of felt bad because they were being pretty sweet this morning. A lot of them gave me little gifts. Um, a lot of them did little handwritten notes and stuff to me. No one said sorry for yesterday, but I could tell they were trying to make amends for yesterday. And um, anyway, it's been fine this morning, but like, like I said, they were being really sweet when they first came in and then the bell rang and they just flipped and they just started being so rude again and I'm like I was feeling bad I was gonna go like right now it's their specials I was gonna go to Dollar General and go ahead and get shaving cream for them to clean their desks and play and like I said as soon as the bell rang they just flipped and I'm like okay no never mind I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna feel bad they're just gonna have their free time I'm just letting them play the quiet students that are content to help me with the puzzle are just sitting here and we're working on that puzzle and the rest of them are just being a little crazy and I'm letting them I'm just like whatever like the one last nice thing I'm doing for them is I'm giving them an airhead and it says don't be an airhead make sure to read this keep reading this summer and then I'm gonna give them that as they walk out the door <laughs> that's it so we, they will get back from specials in eight minutes at 11 we're gonna go at 11.05, we go out to recess. 11.25, we go to lunch. Um, we get back from lunch at noon. And car riders leave at 12.35. So when they get back at noon, I'm gonna, uh, 
award the few that weren't here yesterday their awards we'll see how that goes and then which was weird that three that weren't here yesterday did come back today so it's like okay and then yeah that's gonna be it I told Riley I text her because I had asked her I said can you get out of class and go to Dollar General and she said yeah if you call the office and but by the time she replied I was like never mind never mind they're <laughs> they they're switch flipped so we're not doing that anymore so she's like I'm sorry mama and I'm like it's fine I was like just a few hours left and on to next year so <laughs> it is just fine and like the other class did a water day which I didn't know about till two days ago and I wasn't I couldn't go buy all the water stuff she's had it for years and years <clears throat> so next year I can be prepared for it but anyway they saw them out the window playing water why can't we do that no, no, no. I'm like I have told y'all for two days because she told her class on Wednesday we're gonna do a water day why can't we do water day and I'm like because I don't have the things to do it and I can't go get them before Wednesday and so they were just complaining complaining why they couldn't have a water day I'm like I've already told you guys you know like I don't know nah. I don't like how this year is ending I don't like being so negative about it but gosh darn it's been a little bit rough so anyway I'm gonna eat a granola bar I'm hungry maybe I'm hangry I don't know I'm gonna eat a granola bar put a few more pieces in this puzzle and then they'll be back from specials so I'll catch up with y'all later again good morning happy Thursday I am up at school today we have a teacher checkout day so that means we have to come on come in and check out I don't know what all we're doing we've never done this before but I'm not sad about it because it's giving me a chance to get cleaned up I am in the classroom that I've been working in for the last six weeks best experience I could have ever asked for because I got the gamut I got sweet kids I got sour kids I got <laughs> Got some rough ones. Um, learned a lot um, during this time subbing, but now I am ready to move on to my next chapter for sure, um, which is moving into my new classroom. And that is what is happening today. I'm going to start moving into my new classroom. Um, I just finished. It's uh, 8:40. Got here at 8. Um, I just finished cleaning up this whole area. I should have showed you before because it was a disaster. I feel so bad. She's come in a few times since I've been here. And I'm like, oh gosh, she probably thinks I'm a pig because it was just a mess. But that's kind of how it was. Like, I don't have a spot for my own stuff, you know, so everything just kept accumulating and making even a bigger mess. But anything, anyway, everything's cleaned up now. Everything is all good to go. Um, cleaned up that whole back area over there. This is all my stuff that's going with me to my room. This is all my stuff that's going with me to my room. Um, so as you can see, I had a lot of things in here. Um, and I'm going to show you my old room one last time. I'm going to show you my new room, get some moving done today, and um, just make some progress. I'm excited. I'm excited to get in my new room. Um, but one fun fact I was thinking about this morning, this was my fourth grade room. I don't think I ever told you all that. This, this school is where I went to school. Um, but this particular classroom right here is where I went to fourth grade. So I love that I got to have my first official fourth grade experience in this classroom. Um, I, I don't know. I couldn't have asked for anything better. It was just a very good experience all around. I learned so much. Um, I am a hundred percent glad it's over. <laughs> they keep assuring me that it will be better, uh, when I start the year with my own kids. Um, and I believe that I firmly do. So anyway, I am going to miss this room. It was fun. Um, but I'm ready to move on and do my own thing and have my own space. And yeah, it is time to start. So everything on that table and that table has to go. So I'm going to start moving things over, close the door on this room and move on to the next. I have three rooms to tackle today, basically. And this one's already done within 40 minutes. So not too shabby. The other two are not going to be quite so quick. I guarantee it. And here we are in my new room. Uh, it's literally a mirror image of next door's room where I was just at. So nice and big 
and full of other people's things. <laughs> so I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do in here. I think my first call to order is pull everything out of this corner because I want to move my desks over today. My goal is to move everything that I can out of my room and I'll take you over there in just a second. Um, but I think if I can at least move my desks and set my desks out, up, I will feel pretty good about it. So yeah, but this is it. This is my new room. There's not <laughs> much to be seen yet, but it is a nice big room and I'm ready to get it set up and be me. Um, this is, you know, right now just a big empty room, big blank slate and I'm ready. I don't know. I'm very excited. So I have some things in here, all my things on my cart right here. Uh, so time to get to work. Let's go over my room, remind you what my room looks like over there and get started get to work because I have actually I have about 10 minutes before I need to head down to the high school for our meeting just enough time to show y'all around my old room refresh your memories and probably head on down then we'll get to real work this afternoon also it's so awkward because there's people everywhere um I was going to show you for wayfinding purposes where my rooms are in proximity to each other so I'm going to film this here and then go out in the hall and show you whose rooms are whose okay so here's my old room there's my bulletin board that you have seen there's my new room, and then there's the room I was teaching in before. So just proximity. I'm moving one door down from where I've been my previous two years and one door over from where I was. So you can see that's a nice big classroom from the outside. And now here we are in my old room. Okay, we've got the door rigged. I can't even shut it all the way, but that's okay. I just um, <laughs> embarrassed myself slightly. Okay, here's my old room. So here's my front wall when you walk in um, with my smart board, my multiplication tables, my wall over here. Everything's falling down because I haven't been in here, um, to, which that piece right there has fallen down all year long. I've put it up, I don't know how many times. It's been on the floor for weeks and weeks now at this point. Uh, anyway, just my little entry wall with my kind of information stuff, my teacher desk, um, and then just my, you know, all the stuff the kids have given me, my birthday wall. This is my hutch desk. I love this desk so much. Scotty built it for me. My reading corner, my window, one window. Now I have two um, with my little activity table, and then my cozy corner over here and my big bookshelf which I'm taking that with me. I'm really excited that I get to take it with me. Um, and then my whiteboard and my bean table, which I will leave that for the tape teacher because it's best for small group. I actually really want it, but those are like a hot commodity. So I just would not feel right taking this. Um, but I'm taking all of these things, um, all of those things. Filing cabinet will stay because it's full of resources for this room. Taking my desk, obviously, um, my hutch desk, not obviously this desk, obviously my hutch desk, um, but I was torn. It is a bigger desk and I really like it, but I feel bad to give the new teacher in this room such a bad desk from the other room, but everyone keeps telling me, this is your desk, you take it with you. I'm like, okay, fine. My chair, um, that is my own personal chair. Most of the stuff is my own personal stuff. I'm taking all the gray chairs, those are mine. This table I am taking, but there's one in there that's a little bit smaller. I'm going to bring in here all the cozy corner stuff and all of these shelves. So um, I feel horrible. It's going to be a very bare room, but but that gives her bare bones to start with, too. Um, I mean, I came in here to nothing and made it my own, made it my home, made it my room. So she will have the bean table with the rolly chair um, to start with and then the desk from the other room I'll bring in here and then the table from the other room I'll bring in here um, and the filing cabinet she'll have and there are some bookshelves in that room that I will likely bring into here I just really like the height and size of this bookshelf it just is so functional to me um, so I'm, I'm bringing this guy with me so anyway that's it I need to get to work again I think it's probably actually time I so I'm going to walk down, so I'm going to walk, start walking down to the high school here in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, this is my room. Let's literally one last look at it before um, it's no longer my room because I'm fixing to start taking everything down. I'll film some time lapses, of course. Y'all know it's been a minute since I've done some time lapses. Um, but I love this little room. I'm, it's literally so bittersweet because I do love this room so much. Um, it has been so cozy. It's been so good to me. I've learned so much in this room. Um, but I'm definitely ready to move on to my next chapter. My new room is going to be just as fun and colorful and cozy um, for those students that are going to come in. 
there's just a lot more space to fill and a lot more to figure out. Um, but I know like in my heart of hearts, like it is so much less about the decoration and how it's set up than it is what we're going to be doing in there and how productive we're going to be. It's going to be a great year. <clears throat> I'm very excited about that, but I'm excited to get the ball rolling. And these are the first steps, um, getting all my stuff moved and getting it set up to be a functional classroom. So anyway, bittersweet days, uh, moving out of my first classroom here and yeah, so let's do it. Let's, let's get, let's get this wagon train a moving. <laughs> Right. the kids were a huge help they got all of this stuff moved um, I didn't get to get my desk moved yet because it is so heavy so I'm trying to set up my hutch desk but it literally is an inch too high ish but I don't want it I want it exactly how it is so that little box that's there on the wall that thing right there needs to move up one inch and it would fit perfectly in between the two like hutch pieces. So I'm gonna see if there's any way I can like take the, take it off, like move it. But my screwdriver is still in my room so I need to go get that. Um, but anyway, I made some progress. I've contacted maintenance and they're gonna go, or they're gonna come up when they have a chance and move my desk for me because it is way too heavy. And then I, I want to move my bookshelves, but I just don't know. I just, I don't know. I think I need to clean off this cart. There's just so much I need to do, and I just need to, like, stop thinking about it and just do it. <sighs> but it's overwhelming. So I need to, like, put stuff off of this cart on those shelves. That shelf is staying as far as I think. I think it's staying. Um, and then this shelf is going to the other teacher's room. She said she didn't care which one. First she said the black one, then she said she didn't care. I think the other side of that one is black. Um, but because that's where that one's gonna go in my room anyway, I'm probably just gonna move that one. But anyhow, um, yeah, I just need to get some stuff done. I'm trying to decide, gosh, how much I wanna film for y'all. I know I realize time lapses are like four seconds long, even though it's like several minutes worth of stuff, so. It's probably fine to keep filming. We'll see how long my phone holds out. How much battery do I have left? Oh, 74%. We're golden. The kids just left to get us some lunch. So while they're gone, I'm going to do a little bit of work and see what I can get done and the time it takes them to go get the food and get back. much has happened. <laughs> um, I was starting to clean off that shelf and then maintenance got here to move my desk. So my desk got moved in here, but then they're like, Hey, what else do you need moved? They moved all of my books and my bookshelf. They moved the other bookshelf out of here and they helped me move everything that was on that low shelf over to this shelf. Like they are just the best. We have the best custodial and maintenance staff. I was talking so loud and the air just shut off and there's still people in the building. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, all my stuff is in my room now. Actually, not all of it. There's still stuff to take down in my other room. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Finish getting everything out of that room. Then I'll come back in here and start setting some things up until it's time for me to get out of here. It's actually so sad and kind of crazy and pretty cool. Uh, it's fun to move on to the next chapter, but yeah, it's so weird to hear um, the special services daughter was helping me and she's like, it's so loud in here. How did you get a room that was so loud? Um, so I'm leaving a few remnants behind. I can't get those peeled off of there, those stickers. Um, but there were already stickers on here when I came. So it's kind of like the legacy. You just leave your own stickers behind. And I didn't peel my vinyl off the tran transit, tran whatever that thing's called. But yeah, here's last looks at my room. Oh, oh I just saw my um, wreath hangers on my door. And this is it. Someone else's room now. On to mine. I'm going to do a little bit of work in there, but not much because it's already 2.25. So I don't have much time left in my day uh, to do much in my room. But my new room. I'm so excited. Okay, bye old room. Let's, uh, we'll see you in the new room. Okay, I'm actually leaving now. <laughs> it's just moments after I just filmed that last clip. Um, I was going to stay and do a few more things in my new room, but Caleb's, um, baseball game did not get canceled. Can you even see me? Hmm, hello, here I am. Uh, did not get canceled, so we are going to Kayla's baseball game. So I thought his season was going to be over. He broke his finger uh, in a in a game a few weeks ago, and so I thought his season was over. But they have said he can play, so we are going to go watch him play because this is his senior season. And tonight and maybe Saturday, I don't know. I don't know how many games he has left, but we're going to make the most of them and get as many as we can. So anyway, it's, uh, what time did I say it was earlier? 2.25? It's 2.33. So um, yeah, I'm headed out. I'm going to go home and change my clothes. I am stinky. I can smell, you know when you can smell yourself, it's real bad, you know? But ugh, I got so hot doing everything today. And yeah, now I'm going to go home and change real quick and we're gonna turn around moments after I get home and hit the road, hit, head to Caleb's baseball game.
safe. Good morning. Happy Friday. It is about 8.40 in the morning and it is my first morning, the first official morning of summer vacation. Uh, no kids at school yesterday, but I had to go to school yesterday, you know. Um, so I had to get up early yesterday. Still woke up early this morning. I did manage to fall back asleep and stay in bed for another couple of hours. But um, I was like, don't wake me up. I'm sleeping until I wake up. Um, and then I woke up at before my alarm would normally have gone off. You know, that's just really how it goes. Although I did go to bed very early last night. We got home from Caleb's ball game and I wasn't feeling great. I had a really bad headache. I think I was getting dehydrated. Um, I drank a ton of water yesterday evening, just trying to recoup from it, but it gave me a really bad headache, um, from being dehydrated. So I was like, I need to just go to bed. I don't feel the best, you know? So anyway, I went to bed somewhat early. So I'm sure that's why I woke up somewhat early. So anyhow, I'm just lazing around this morning. I've got my cup of coffee over here, probably around 10, going to go up to the school and do a few more things because I want to get that caught up and done. Um, not, not done, obviously not done, but I don't like the state that I left my room in. You know, I left in kind of a hurry yesterday when we found out Caleb was playing and, um, then when we got to the game, he didn't play. <laughs> he pitched the last inning. And I think I told y'all he has a broken finger. And so um, they were trying to save him for the district's game that is on Saturday. And he didn't pitch his best game by any means. And a kid run hit an over-the-fence home run on him. So he was hilarious about it. He's like, that was the meatball of all meatballs I threw. And of course he hits it over the fence. Um, but this was kind of a didn't mean anything type of game because of their district starting on Saturday. So anyway, um, it was still fun to go, go up there and see him and watch him play. And hopefully we can make it Saturday too. So anyhow, I'm going to go up and start working on my classroom just a little bit. I want to take the sticky tack off the back of everything I took down yesterday and just do a tiny bit of organization just because I don't like how everything is on the cart. And they did ask that we take all of our food home. And I have a lot of food left over from like the snacks from map testing last week. So I need to get all that brought home. Um, so probably just spend a couple of hours up there, come home, do some housework. And then we have a meeting at church tonight. So that's my plan for the day. Plus my goal is to get my last week's weekly vlog edited and uploaded tonight so that this one can go up tomorrow. So it's going to be two in a row, like two days in a row, but then I'll be caught up. I haven't been grocery shopping, so I didn't do a grocery haul this week. So I think I just needed a break from editing and stuff. Like we were just really busy anyhow, but it has been nice. But now I'm like, I have two whole weeks worth of footage that I need to edit into two separate vlogs. So that's a lot of work ahead of me. So I can't stay at the school too long because I have a lot of editing to do. So anyhow, I'm going to get off here, enjoy my quiet little morning and then head up to the school. I'll bring you guys along back to the school, remind you where I left off and show you some progress that I get made up there. So I'll see y'all later on. All right, y'all, I have made it up to my classroom. I've actually been taking sticky tack off of things for a long time, almost an hour. Oh my goodness, that took forever. Um, but that was one of the things that I told myself, oh, I see more things. Uh, okay, well, I have more to do. I just did not want to leave this because it'll like get either hard or it'll like kind of melt and make an even bigger mess. So that's one thing I have to do. And then contend a tiny bit with this mess. Probably not this. All of this needs to go back on that bookshelf. And I'm not entirely sure I want to do that, but I really probably should. So anyhow, um, my main two things, I want to move this table over by my desk, which is where it's hopefully going to go. That desk is very large. So that's going to put the work area like all the way over here. But I kind of think I don't hate that because then that frees up the rest of the room. I don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm overthinking things. And the other thing I want to do is empty that cart because that's the community building cart. So I don't want to monopolize it for the whole summer. I want to free it up so that other people can use it if they need it for stuff. So I'm not going to time lapse. I don't think maybe I will. I don't know. I'll go turn my light on, but I need to get up and move at least for a little bit because I've been sitting doing that sticky tack for an hour. So 
Yeah. And the, oh, third thing I have to do. I have to clean up everything in front of that HVAC cabinet. They have to be able to open that door because um, if there was any issues or whatever. And right now my computer is currently on a rolling table in front of that cabinet. So I need to clear off my desk. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So it's on this rolling table. Um, and then my desk is way over there, but I think I'm going to try to put my tower and my phone on this rolly cart and then only have my monitor and keyboard and mouse on my desk. And then I would have all of that as workspace. I'm kind of thinking that's a great idea, but we'll see if it is or not. Um, and if I even get to all of that today, again, I, I do have to get this in front of this cleared out, um, literally for fire safety reasons, you know, um, so I'll do that as well. Um, but yeah, here we are. Here's a look at what we got going on. Uh, I'll maybe put you on a time lapse and just do some things. Let's get some stuff done. some pretty big progress. I still have a big pile in the middle of the floor. I'm still working on that, but I was going to start putting some of these books on the bookshelf and the bookshelf, they didn't put it all the way against the wall, which I don't think I even can. So that's a whole nother dilemma, but I'll show you that dilemma in just a second. But as I was like trying to figure it out, I noticed there's a big like mural painted on the back of this bookshelf. Um, so that's interesting. Okay, I don't know how I can show you very well, but I'll pull this out without it falling down, hopefully. Anyway, there's a dragon there. There's like a sleeping mouse, a castle that says reading is magical. And I don't know what is on the other end, but that's so funny. I had no idea there was a mural on the back of this. Um, but you can see those plugs that stick out from the wall. There's my dilemma with it not being able to get pushed all the way back against the wall. So I think I'm just going to push it back as far as I can and hope for the best. Hope it's far enough that it works for me. Um, otherwise, I might have to have Scotty try and like cut holes in the back of this or something to try and like seat it back in there. I don't know. This is a old, one of our older classrooms. So it's got electrical run on the outside of the wall, which is weird because I don't think my other classroom did and it's in the same building. So... I don't know why. And I don't remember it being next door like that. So who knows? It's fine. I'm going to make it work. But I think what I need to do is clean up this area so that basically those tables and chairs are what's in the middle of the room. And I can kind of start putting my stuff where I somewhat want it to go. But I, in reality, I only have just an hour left. So I think I can really knock this out pretty quickly. Um, and then I'll feel a lot better about that because then I can move all these tables and chairs and desks to the middle and then move my things like my that's a chair underneath all those stuffed animals um and then yeah I moved everything I kept moving out of frame doing that time lapse but everything that's excuse me not mine over there no not everything I need to move those few things those gray chairs gone they're mine but they're going to go home excuse me um so yeah 
I'm making some progress and I feel good about it. So I'm, I'm going to feel better about leaving it in the state that it's going to end up in than before I came in today. So let me pack up, not pack up, but fix up the shelf a little bit and see how that makes me feel after I get done with that. <laughs> so thrilled. I did stay 40 minutes longer than I planned, but mainly because I was getting my um, computer in order and stuff. So I did make a few changes from the last time I was doing a time lapse because as soon as I was done, I was like, oh, I want to do this, this, and this. I just realized I want to take that stuff down too, but that doesn't have to happen today. <sighs> Sorry, my brain is like, Mrr. so I did move everything that is not mine to this spot now. So everything is there. Let me turn the camera around. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to show you guys around the room. All right, so there by the door, everything right there is not mine and is not staying. So that all can go out of this room. They bought us all those um, air purifiers during the, um, the year after COVID. And so the apparently couple of teachers didn't want theirs anymore. They do take up a lot of space because they're so like short to the floor. So anyhow, um, those need to go bookshelves, whatever over explaining um that cabinet is going to move and i'm going to have my mailbox system set over there but that's all stuff that's going to my house not all today everything but the chairs is going today though that's not that cart's not staying there but that's where it's at for now that's pretty much going to be how that is it's like my whiteboard supplies and some games and things um that cabinet <laughs> something just fell in the hallway uh that that's not a cabinet the little rolly cart is what i had over here and y'all it is so rickety if you saw caleb moving it it's so rickety so i'm like i can't leave my computer on that that's probably pretty dangerous so i put that desk there at least for now i like having a desk available because it's nice storage so i could slide stuff in there if i needed to um again that's just for now i honestly don't think I would mind putting my um, tower underneath my monitor to just raise it up a little, but also, and also my teacher area is lovely. It's coming together nicely and I like it. When I'm sitting down, it's like perfect that my smart board's like right above my eye level. Um, so it's very easy to like do two things at once there. So if it were a little higher, that might actually be annoying. But anyhow, talk to maintenance. They're gonna move that box. It's gonna be perfect. Um, this is a disaster area. Nothing has changed there. Don't know how it's going to end up looking, but that's fine. Um, all that back there. And I just moved all my baskets that were on my teacher table over there back here. That's all stuff I'll go through at the beginning of next year. Just set up this little area. I likely not where that's going to stay. I honestly want that kind of stuff in this corner, but that's nearly impossible to move without taking all the books off. So I'm not going to try it. Chromebook cart has to stay there. There's my air purifier. Um, don't know where that's going to go. Honestly, over there would be good because it technically could go in front of that cabinet. Um, or not cabinet, closet. Because it's on wheels, it could move really easily. So that's probably where that's going to end up going back to. And it's going to be great. And then I just left the desks that were in here. Um, and I told maintenance I needed a, probably about 20 more. And they said that's going to be difficult. So... We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. That's all I can say. And then this is all title stuff that I found as I was organizing that needs to go back to the title room. 
and an extra red bin. I don't use this color bin, so or kind of bin. So I'm going to give her those bins if she needs them. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how it has turned out. And it's just coming together pretty nicely. Pretty nicely. Obviously still tons of organization and things that need to happen. But I just feel so much better leaving it like this for the summer. You know, uh, I keep saying I'm not coming back till August, but who knows? We'll see how it goes. I might pop in and out every once in a while and, you know, come organize one section of the shelf for an hour or something like that, just depending on what my summer looks like. But y'all know I'm always busy. So leaving it in this state just has me feeling so much better about the state that it's in. <laughs> that seems crazy. But I also told maintenance that's going to have to move. That's going to have to move. I've got a new whiteboard coming Hopefully I get approved for it. Um, so I'm going to want it there and the old one over on this wall. That's just a horrible whiteboard, but I could write stuff on it that's going to stay on there for quite a while. Um, we do a lot of reading goals and things, so I could put the reading goals on there. That would probably be a good thing. Very much mirroring what the teacher I just subbed for does um, with her funky whiteboard. So anyway, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. One, that's crooked. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm My camera's crooked. There, it's mostly straight. Can you tell how crooked that is? It has bothered me all day. I'm like, that's so crooked. Anyway, I'm kind of thinking I want to hang it vertically. Is that silly? Like, I've never seen a whiteboard vertical before, but I mean a bulletin board. I think it could be like my command center. Is that kind of cool? I think it's kind of cool. Like, hang it vertically and I could have like my rules, jobs, um, announcements, anything like pertinent and just kind of keep it right in that general area that way like if you have any questions about this that or the other thing that's where you look I would love to have it on this wall but it's not going to fit in between those windows I already counted blocks and if it did it would be like so close so I don't know if that's a good idea or not I guess we could measure and see but that could also be a good spot for kind of a command center but vertical whiteboard might be kind of neat we'll see not my, well, not whiteboard I keep saying whiteboard but what's that thing called bulletin board okay anyway I just could ramble forever I, my brain is going a million miles a minute and I need to just go home and get ready because I think we need to leave in like one hour about 4 45 for our meeting tonight because I want to be there early and yeah so that'll be enough time for me to get home and get changed all I've had to eat today, I had a bowl of cereal this morning and a pack of cheese that's while I was here. I didn't have any lunch, but that's okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love it. I'm so happy. Um, one of the teachers or um, one of the secretaries came in while I was working. You kind of saw me maybe talking to somebody in that time lapse. And she's like, we all got bets going on how long it's going to take you to have this set up. Um, no time at all. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. You're probably going to lose that bet because... I am not coming back. They're like, yeah, right. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see y'all eventually. Oh, holy cow. Like all of them. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I got to take pictures then.
Hey y'all, it's later in the night. I've actually just finished editing last week's video that went up yesterday. It's a little confusing right now in my editing world. Um, but I haven't talked to y'all since we got home from seeing the Northern Lights. Oh my goodness, y'all, we live in Missouri, like Southern Missouri, and we saw the Northern Lights, which I actually saw a friend of mine that lives in Mississippi that saw them. Like, that is so cool. Like, so, so, so cool. First time I have ever seen them in my life. Um, it was hard to see with the naked eye. I kind of filmed a little tiny bit. You could kind of see it like moving around a little bit, but then our phones are amazing and you could, they would pick up the colors in the phone. And so I got all of those pictures with my phone and it was just so mesmerizing and beautiful. And like, Again, you couldn't see it as good with the naked eye. We went out to our field. Um, well, first we went down to the fire station, but there was a really bright light on the fire station behind us. So that was kind of washing it out. So I said, well, let's go over to the field. So we went over to our field and there's like no lights in the field. There's a street light across the street, but it was far enough away that it was, it was 360 around us. Like it was everywhere we looked. It was so gorgeous and just breathtaking and beautiful. And it's actually, it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> and it's 1.38. And supposedly the brightest is between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. So I'm thinking about going back outside um, and seeing if I can see anything from here. Although at the house, we have a street light. So anyhow, uh, yeah, if I go out there and see something new, I'll film it and then you'll see it on top of this. But... Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. I was going to start editing this, but, um, it, like I said, it's 136. Um, and there's 193 clips that includes pictures. And I took a bunch of pictures this week. Um, so I was going to start editing this. I have time tomorrow. I'm going to edit it. It's going to, this video will go up on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. Oh my goodness. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope I have a wonderful Mother's Day. I have no idea what it holds for me. <laughs> the kids were talking about wanting steak and asparagus and shrimp. And I was like, well, guess what Sunday is? And they're like, are we seriously having that Sunday? I'm like, I don't know. Are we having that on Sunday? I was like, it's Mother's Day. If y'all want it, you can have it. But I am not planning anything. So we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Because I would also love to have that. But are they going to go to Sam's Club and shop and do it themselves? to be determined. You will find out in next week's vlog if that happened or what happened with Mother's Day. So anyhow, that's going to do it for this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. This has a lot of content as well. Last week's vlog had a lot of content. This one also has a lot, a lot of classroom stuff. I'm so thrilled with what I was able to get done. Um, it has been a really good week and school's out for summer. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I just needed that like hump to get over and it's crazy. <laughs> it's just been a crazy few weeks, but I'm now so excited to go into next school year and start the year with my new students and it's just going to be fantastic. But I alluded earlier and talked earlier about our meeting at church. It went so, so good. It was such a cool meeting. I can't tell you anything about it uh, because it doesn't mean anything to anybody, but it was a very good meeting. So <laughs> uh, that's all I have to say. Um, but that took a big chunk of our evening. We didn't even get home until after eight. And then I cooked dinner really quickly. We had um, baked chicken and brown rice and broccoli in the air fryer. And it was so good. So it's just been a really great day. This is like my first official day of summer, although I went to the school today. But it's just been a great, great kickstart to my summer. And we're just going to continue on from here. Uh, I mentioned it in last week's vlog, but... We are T minus 19 days and now because it's Saturday, we are T minus 18 days till vacation and I can hardly wait. It's going to be so wonderful. I'm just, I'm so excited, so excited for vacation. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you all so much for coming along with me this week. I do hope you have enjoyed it all everything that we've gotten ourselves into. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments down in the comment box. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Thank you again. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.